Hello guys and welcome to a new gameplay video where I'll be showcasing my new favorite girl in Call of Duty Mobile. Not only that but you're about to witness an intense gameplay with a crazy start and a 1v3 clutch ending. I'm really sad because I had to let go of Mara and replace her with Siren. I just couldn't resist. Of course I had to sell my left kidney to get her but it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and I hope you find the tips useful. Let's go hunting. In this game I decided to land in platform. I don't really land much here especially on my first game of the day but I thought it would be a good warm up. Honestly I played like a noob in the start and I should have been dead but somehow I managed to survive with 1 HP. Little they know they are about to regret letting me live. I thought that was all of them, but turns out there is another squad there. The revive flight will arrive in one minute. As I was about to kill this bot, I noticed the shadow of an enemy player charging towards me and it really saved my life as I was able to react fast because of it. Chip terminal is almost ready. Hey, oh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. That was a crazy fight. Went from barely surviving with 1 HP to eliminating 2 tough squads. Best warm up I could ever have. Airdrop has been delivered. Moving on to the next big fight at the drop, honestly airdrops became more dangerous than the platform. So I saw the bike here and I decided to scan the area for a bit because I died so many times near airdrop and I'm glad I did because 2 seconds later the entire lobby shows up. After I realized there is only one enemy in the car I decided to go in.
Notice as I knocked this guy I saw a shadow of an enemy coming down and I knew that he came from revive flight because it was his parachute shadow. Now I know there are at least two enemies around. Always try to keep track of the number of enemies around you. Many players ask me how I managed to locate the real players from the clones. Just look for unusual movements. In this case, this one is looking right at me. A clone would never do that. They just run in a straight line. That's how I knew it was him. Moving on to the final stages of the game, in here I came across two squads fighting. I tried to knock the sniper on the tower but it wasn't enough. Jet terminal is almost ready. Now I had to make a decision whether to engage the squad at the tower or the squad near the houses. But since the tower squad knows my location already, plus they have a very high ground it was too risky to push them. So I went with the houses squad especially that it's perfect environment for ninja users. Houses are ninja's best friend. The safe zone is collapsing. It was hard for me to fight there because they had me surrounded from different angles so I decided to switch position and wait for one of them to mess up and split apart from his team.
I feel like these guys were underestimating me or maybe they panicked after I killed their teammate. Either way, I managed to kill them and win the game. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, then consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new as I'll be posting more gameplay and more tips. Love you all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.